My name is Seamus Leonard, and I am a student at St. John's Jesuit. I will be reading From Tadpole to Frog by Wendy Pfeffer, illustrated by Holly Keller, and this is shared with permission from Scholastic. This is Frog Pond, but where are the frogs? When winter wind whistles, the frogs hide. They sleep at the bottom of the pond in the soft mud. Frogs hibernate in their hideaway all winter long. After the ice melts, flowers appear. Birds return and the pond creatures wake up. Spring has arrived at Frog Pond. Here are the old frogs stretching their legs. At night you hear Bararoom, Bararoom, Bararoom. The males are calling to their mates. The females hear the call. The male hugs his mate. He fertilizes her eggs as she lays them in the water. Thousands of soft, jelly-covered jelly eggs cling together in the cool water. In about 10 days, the eggs will hatch. The pond comes alive with thousands of tiny tadpoles. They wiggle their tails and breathe underwater with gills, just like fish. During the summer, the tadpoles swim about eating water plants. But water beetles, snakes, and birds are eating too. They're eating tasty tadpoles. When fall comes, look carefully in the water. Are any tadpoles left? Look here. Are they tadpoles or wet leaves? They're brown fish speckled tadpoles. Hundreds of them float by with the brown, brownish speckled leaves. Eating and swimming, swimming and eating, the tadpoles grow fat. When winter winds blow again, they burrow under the mud at the bottom of the pond. They do not eat, they do not move, they just sleep. When spring sunshine warms the tadpoles world, they awake hungry. So they swim and eat, eat and swim. Tiny hind legs begin to sprout. They grow larger and stronger while the tail grows shorter. Tiny front legs begin to show. The tadpoles look like long-tailed frogs. All summer, the tadpoles change more. Lungs develop and more. Mouths and eyes grow larger and more until they become frogs. When their tails disappear, they are no longer tadpoles. Now they use their strong legs and webbed feet to swim instead of their tails. Now they can rest on lily pads and leap onto land. The frogs flick out their long, sticky tongues and capture worms, spiders, and dragonflies. Now where are the frogs? Slowly, the days grow colder. Winter winds blow. Birds fly south. Once again, the pond creatures hibernate. Where are the frogs now? There are about 2,000 kinds of frogs. They are different in size, shape, habits, and color, but they are alike in many ways. All frogs grow from eggs to legless, legless fish-like tadpoles to four-legged adults. The frog pictured throughout this book is a bullfrog. It is the largest frog in the United States. The bullfrog tadpole takes up to two years to change into a frog. Other tadpoles take anywhere from two weeks to two years to change into frogs. Here are some other kinds of frogs. Leopard or grass frog. Leopard frogs are the most common frogs in the United States. They are covered with leopard-like spots and have a deep chuckle. Pickerel frog. Pickerel frogs are greenish brown with squarish dark brown spots. Poison comes out of their skin. Snakes will not eat them. Wood frog. Wood frogs live in the woods. They lay eggs in, the, in quiet woodland pools. They are brownish with black robber masks on their faces. Gray tree frog. Gray tree frogs live in trees and shrubs. They come down only to lay eggs in nearby ponds or streams. Their color changes to match the trees. They can stay still for a long time so their enemies do not see them. Spring peeper. Tiny spring peepers have loud, clear voices. They start to sing after the first warm rain. Peepers are one of the only signs of spring. Oh yeah. Um, so 
Thank you for listening to this reading. I enjoyed it, and please come again.